I've got my official Oreo taste testing kit out once again, so you know what that means. Oh yeah, new Oreos. Welcome back, Goblins and Goblinettes, to another edition of Destined to be Goblin. Destin Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destin Goblin seal of approval. I am excited to try this new flavor of Oreo, and there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, it is Neapolitan ice cream flavor. Now, of course, we all know I am not a huge fan of ice cream, but Neapolitan ice cream is one of the flavors that I do enjoy when I do have ice cream. That's the first part of this. The second reason that I am really excited about this is because for the first time in a long time that I can remember, we are talking about a completely different type of Oreo cookie. What do I mean by that? Well, usually they change some aspect of it. They change the cream. They might change the cookie, but keep the cream the same. There's always something that's very familiar as far as the Oreo cookie. It's usually the, the chocolate cookie, change the cream flavor, add maybe crunchy bits into the cookie, something like that. But overall, tends to be the same cookie. This time, we've got three different flavors of cream. You can see them right there uh, on that little picture there on the package. We've got, vani we've got uh, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate flavored creams. But then we've also got waffle cone flavored cookies. So the cookies themselves are different and are supposed to have a different flavor to them. So this is really a completely different type of Oreo that we're going to try here. You can see right there, limited edition, so these are only out for a, a short time. 180 calories per two cookies, which seems to be a pretty standard, I think, uh, for the Oreo flavors. Let's get these open and let's get started. All right, so there's a look at those Oreo cookies nestled in their little package nice and secure. Let's go ahead and pull one of those out. All right, so there's a closer look at one of those cookies. It does have the Oreo logo on one side, and on the other side, it's got that pattern like you would get on an ice cream waffle cone. Then you can see those three layers of creams. You can see the strawberry, you can see the chocolate, and the vanilla is hiding right on the bottom there. Now, of course, as with all of our Oreo taste tests, we're gonna eat one cookie on its own, we're gonna deconstruct another one, and then we do have our official dunking kit here, uh, so we will get uh, one dunked in some milk and see how the, the flavor intensifies or disappears uh, when it's dunked in milk. Here we go. Oreo Neapolitan ice cream flavor. Mm. That's kind of an interesting experience. That first half of that cookie sort of changed as I chewed it. The first flavor that I got was very, very powerfully strawberry. Strawberry was the, the dominant flavor. But then as I got a little bit further in, the chocolate started to take over. I didn't notice too much of the vanilla. I didn't notice too much of the waffle cone, believe it or not. Strawberry and chocolate were the two sort of competing flavors and it sort of changed. It was very predominantly strawberry to start, very chocolate to end. Let's see how this half goes. Mm. That is interesting because that half of that cookie, the, the first flavor I got was the waffle cone, and to finish it off, I got the vanilla. So they've done a good job of really representing all of these flavors. All right, I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this one. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because I always do try to separate these creams a little bit so that I can sort of try them on their own, if at all possible. But sometimes they sort of meld together and that kind of looks like what's gonna happen here. I may not be able, this is not always successful. I may not be able, 
to try all of these. Here's a little bit of that vanilla. The vanilla is actually very similar to the, the regular Oreo cream. Let's see if I can get some of that chocolate. There's no way I'm going to... Oh, here we go. The chocolate's peeling off. There's no way I'm going to be able to get the strawberry. I do not believe. There's the chocolate. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a really nice chocolate flavor on that when you taste it by itself. I got the strawberry and the vanilla sort of together here. So let me see if I can... See what I, I detect on this. I'll, I'll just take these together. Yeah, the strawberry sort of overpowers the vanilla. Um, the strawberry is very strong. Um, I think the chocolate, the chocolate is strong also, but it balances out with the strawberry. Um, but the vanilla gets a little bit lost in that. That's one thing, maybe a little bit more vanilla flavor in this would... Um, give it a more accurate Neapolitan flavor, but it's really good. It was always my experience as a kid when I would eat Neapolitan ice cream, the vanilla, the stripe in the carton, the vanilla was always larger than the chocolate or the strawberry. So maybe that's why I'm thinking there should be a little bit more vanilla flavor to it. Here's the waffle cone cookie. Mm -hmm. They could have maybe done a little bit better on the cookie itself. This is sort of reminiscent of um, almost a, a gingerbread flavor. Sort of a subtle gingerbread, um, almost, I don't, don't want to say aftertaste, but almost aftertaste um, to this. So I think they could have maybe gotten the, the waffle cone a little bit more accurate, but still very good. All right, it is time for our official dunk taste test. I've got my uh, mug loaded up with some nice cold milk. I've got my cookies right there on the side. And here we go dunking in our milk. And we will see how the flavor holds up. We'll see how the cookie holds up after it has been dunked in that milk. Let's give this a shot. I don't know that the Milk significantly changes the uh, flavor of this one. I found that sometimes. Sometimes the, the flavor of the Oreo is really intensified with the milk. And sometimes really nothing else happens when you dunk it. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Really no flavor change is happening with the milk. Um, I dunked this one a little bit longer. Let's see. This seems to be one of those Oreo flavors where you can really either take it or leave it as far as the milk goes. The milk doesn't really um, add to the experience or take away from it, but that is a very good cookie. It is very close to being the perfect representation of Neapolitan ice cream. Uh, it is a very solid three-star seal of approval and it is available for a limited time. So pick those up now. There we go, limited edition Neapolitan ice cream flavored Oreo. Grab those while you can. That is a very good cookie. You will not be disappointed and I will catch you next time.